CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Charlotte, this is uh, quite a different environment to Wormsley, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's obviously a fantastic venue to be playing Test cricket at, and um, yeah, very different, but um, both lovely and, and both, you know, very fitting venues for the for the first Test match. And what do you make of it? Have you had a look at the pitch yet? I haven't been out there actually, um, but um, I'm sure it's going to be bouncy and, and a fast wicket, and um, something I'm certainly looking forward to playing on. The Australians certainly have been talking about having a, a wicket that's got pace and bounce, very different to some of the ones that we saw over in England. Uh, how are you going to counter-attack what, what they've got? Because they're talking about coming on very aggressively with their fast bowling. Yeah, look, we're ready for that. We, you know, we've prepared over the last six weeks from our from our tour to the West Indies, so we know what's coming at us. Um, now we've just got to deal with that. Um, but you know, we've certainly got um, some pace in our attack, which we're looking forward to to unleashing over the next four days. And I, I know certainly Catherine and Anya are very much looking forward to to, to bowling on this wicket. But um, as far as batsmen are concerned, we're looking forward to batting on them. And I think you know, there's not many times you get to bat on on a nice, fast, uh, bouncy tracks that um, you know where you get value for runs, which is hopefully going to be um, in our case. Lots of talk from the Australians about playing an aggressive brand of cricket, very similar to what we saw from the men's team. Obviously you don't want to emulate the England men's team, but is there a feeling of wanting to make up for that at all? No, look, they're two separate series and, you know, we've come out here, we're very much focused on what we've got to do, um, you know, we've, we've come here to obviously retain the Ashes and take them home, um, but, you know, we're firmly focused on this first Test match and not looking too far ahead and um, although bitterly disappointed for the guys, it's, you know, this is about us now over the next few weeks and, um, you know, we're, we're fully prepared and we can't look forward to the challenges over the next few weeks. Now, there was a lot of talk about the, the aggression and the sledging that happened. Does that go on in the women's game? Yeah, of course it does. Um, it's part and parcel of the game. Um, you know, we've got a, a, a great rivalry with the Australian girls and, um, and I'm sure it's going to be no different over the next four days. And, um, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be a great contest. Two very, very evenly matched teams who, um, who are going to be desperate to, to win the Ashes and, and that's how it should be. And, um, you know... This is why we play cricket, you know, for, to play against the best teams and um, at, at some fantastic venues. How are you going to cope from coming from that lovely English winter to this Australian hot spell over in Perth? We're loving it, to be honest. Um, uh, you know, it, it, this, you know, the conditions are obviously different to what we're used to, but um, we've all experienced these conditions. That a lot of our players have played lots of games for England. We've played in much hotter conditions in, in Sri Lanka and India. So this is really any, any different and um, you know, we, 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 I guess we, we played the other day in 38, 40 degrees and um, it wasn't too much of a problem, although we were batting. Um, but you know, that, that's, to be fair, when we, we play at this level, this is, that's not one, something that we really concentrate on and it's the batting and bowling, hopefully over the next four days we'll, we'll win this test match. We've started this tour well with you know, a good run out against the shooting stars um, this week. Um, so you know, we're as prepared as we can be. We've, we've played a lot of cricket over the last 12 months, so we don't feel like we've had much down time um, and um, you know we're thoroughly prepared and we've had lots of practice here so um, you know that won't be an excuse come come Friday it's about us, us starting well here and um, and um, yeah hopefully you know start to hit the ground running and and, and and hopefully that will stand us in good stead. And who do you like what you've seen in recent training and in that game who do you think is going to stand up for England? Um, I mean, Catherine is, is someone is, who's a spearhead of our attack, is, 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 who was fantastic throughout our English summer, and I know she's very much looking forward to, to bowling on these wickets. Um, Anya Shrubsole obviously is a, is, is a key, key player for us, but I think our batting, you know, Heather Knight um, is, is, is really coming of age now. I mean, 150 in the summer was, was an unbelievable knock, and, and she started this tour fantastically well, overcoming her injury as well. And, um, and Sarah Taylor is a world-class player for us. So, look, we've, we've got, we've got world-class players throughout our group, as of the Australians. So, it's whose players stand up um, on these big occasions or who's going to win the, win the Ashes.